Hi, happy midsummer. Um, so the Glamourhead Sharks have been around for since 2002. We started out as an aquatics club that was swimming and diving and other water activities, water polo. But then we um, specified down to swimming and we've been going to local events around Melbourne, around Victoria, around Australia and internationally since then. I'm Catherine, I'm with the Glamourhead Sharks. Very proud to be a Glamourhead Sharks. I think I, uh, for me, swimming's a bonus. I think I'm predominantly a member of the Glamourhead Sharks for the uh, sense of community and belonging. Such a great group of people. And the swim swimming and fitness is a bonus. Well, who, who does the club cater for? It's a very diverse club. Um, we have all ages, um, abil swimming abilities, shapes, sizes, um, ethnicities, genders. Although we haven't had a change yet that we know of, but we're very welcoming and open to everybody. And I think everybody's ability fluctuates too. So sometimes you might be faster than others, but there, there are a range of lanes, so there's always the option to drop back to a slower lane if you're not feeling as fit as you normally are. And some people come for just the fitness and social part of it. Some people come for competition. It's whatever you feel like. So how do you manage those differing um, motivations in, in your members? Well, we just welcome everyone and we have five lanes. So you choose in which lane you want to go, depending on what that lane's goals are for the night. Okay. And for yeah. some people, their target is to actually move up lanes. I'm in yeah. lane two and aiming for lane three by the end of the year. Okay. Where, where do the Glamourheads regularly train? At Wesley College on Punt Road, uh, it's an indoor 25 metre pool, Tuesdays and Thursdays at 6.30 and then on Sundays at MSAC in Albert Park at 5.30. We ask for basic swimming skills, it's not a learn to swim club, um, but if you have basic swimming skills you'll be welcome and then every ability from there up. And okay, so I've got my basic swimming skills, but I'm still a bit nervous. How, do, how does the club support me through those, maybe those first few weeks where I may or may not stay, you know? What we, what we do is we buddy up new people with somebody, um, generally somebody that's in their lane who can encourage them and do some instruction between the coaching. Yeah. And what we ask people to do is to not push themselves too hard to start with because often people try to keep up on their first and second sessions and we say well you know maybe sit out some yeah. uh, you know go to the sides and don't push yourself too hard we want it to be a fun experience as well as as well as getting fit yeah look when I started I swam 100 meters and I was stuffed so you just build up very slowly you only do what you feel like and the coaches will speak with you when you come in and welcome and just make sure that you're doing what's right for you so there's no pressure to be an Olympian or super fit or you know to be anything other than yourself when you join. Okay but so if I came along and I really liked it but I in the end thought well actually swimming's not really for me but I love the club I love the the, the feeling of all the the people the community the sense of community is there something else I could do to be in the club? Yeah. We've got a we've got a group called the Frogs which is the friends of the Glamourhead <laughs> Sharks and there's a lot of family members and previous members who don't swim but they'll come to social functions to yeah. team dinners and, yeah. and our yeah. special events. And remember, we're a, we're a fashion statement, not a swim team. So, you know, there's lots of social occasions and um, things like Midsummer and Pride that people can get involved in and, yeah. I'd like to hear from both of you why, you know, why you joined the club and what being, um, being part of the Glamour Heads has meant to, to each of you, okay? Uh, well, when I first came out, I joined a lot of groups and I sort of didn't really see myself reflected in the, the, the groups I joined were fantastic but I didn't see, I wanted to see my own, my own people I guess. I want to see myself reflected in the people that I was mixing with and it wasn't until I came to the Glamourhead Sharks that I found that sense of belonging and I felt that, that this, this was a place where I could be safe, I could be myself. Look, we're a very loving and diverse club. When I joined, I had a lot of body image issues. I was really nervous. I mean, being in a swimsuit is very revealing, you know, especially on your first couple of sessions. But um, just the loving nature of the group, you know, I, I got over that and got to just be more comfortable with myself. And, you know, as gay and lesbian queer people, we weren't encouraged to be sporty in high school or when we were younger. And that's a nice thing. It's all ages and all, you know, abilities and... Um, it's just a very welcoming, loving club, so you, you don't need to feel like you're not good enough or a part of it. And, and you get to just build your self-esteem as you go. Look, I 
would like to know who you are, gorgeous one. <laughs> um, my name is Ash. I'm part of Melbourne Surge Water Polo and I work in our recruitment area. So I'm in charge of all of our new players and getting new players on board. How, how long has Melbourne Surge been part of the queer sporting community? Um, it's been around for a little bit over 10 years now. So it has been around for a while. Um, and we're a constantly growing club and always looking for new members and um, to try and expand into our community as well. Well, you're looking for new members. Who does it actually cater for? So um, we are Melbourne's only um, GLBTIQ water polo club. So anyone is welcome to come along and join the club at any time and come along and see water polos for them. Do you need to be able to swim? It is a, a probably a very important part of water polo, um, but we do actually offer um, people who don't swim that well. We have uh, swim training sessions. They can build up their endurance. Do you have a lot of crossover between, say, you guys and um, Glamourheads? Um, a little. We do have some of the Glamourheads who have come along and um, tried out in the past, and we have some of the guys that swim with the Glamourheads as well. Um, but we are generally two separate clubs. We do obviously have a strong water polo focus, and swimming is just a component of our okay. sport. Okay. And um, what, what about, are there opportunities for people to join the club who may not actually really wish to participate like they could be organizers or um, masseurs or you know <laughs> Um, we do. We haven't really had many people do that. A lot of people who do come along are interested in water polo as a sport, um, but we'd always be welcoming of anyone who does want to come along and be part of the club and what we do. Yeah. Yep. Um, tell me about what a general, like what would be a standard training session for you guys, for the team? Okay, so um, our, our club actually has two streams. So on Sunday afternoons um, from 3 to 4.30 we have our training session um, and that's welcome and open to anyone. So um, we do a, basically a swim warm up and then some drills and activities around throwing, egg beater kicking um, and just some of the skills that are required for water polo and then we play a game. Um, our second stream is for our competitive players, so our competitive teams play on Thursday nights. So you don't have to play competitively as part of our club, but it's always there if you want to. Alrighty, I mean, um, I've, I've watched a lot of your games. I saw you guys play in, um, in Antwerp. Yes. And a great victory there for Melbourne. Thank you. Yep. Um, it's a sport of such endurance, I mean, and stamina. Mm -hmm. I mean, that must take some time for someone to build up to before they can actually play a whole game. Yeah, definitely. So I joined two years ago, and I was um, a fairly strong swimmer. And when I first joined in my first training session, I nearly died by the end of it. Yeah. Um, two years later, I can play a game now, and um, I'm actually quite um, quite happy with how I'm going and still improving as well. So. Okay. And what about um, for someone new coming into the club? Is, are there people in the club who are there as mentors or to support and give guidance to new members? Yeah, definitely. So we have a very strong support program. So um, I'm in charge of running that. And basically what we do is we assign players to, to buddy up with new people um, so that they always feel supported and have someone that um, looks after them and can introduce them to water polo. And we encourage them to take breaks when they need to, to ask questions when they need to. It is a very supportive environment. Okay. So you said you joined up a couple of years ago. Mm -hmm. um, what's what's being part of the surge meant to you as you know as a as a member of the, of the gay and lesbian? community? Um, I've actually really enjoyed it. I've never played a team sport before and um, I'd never really thought about what kind of team sport I would like to play and I think the thing was for me um, joining Surge they offered a rookies program so it was a sport that I wanted to learn and I could learn um, as part of a group and to me it's been really important that I can now um, play a team sport and it's also um, been that I can join a team and not have to worry about homophobia in sport or being isolated in sport as the only gay person on the team or living up to an expectation. Yeah. Um, we are a gay team. Yeah. Each year we run a rookies program at the start of our season so this year it's in March and you Usually it's around March or April most years, and anyone's always more than welcome to turn up at any time to any session. But where's your train, training base? Our training is at South Yarra Sports and Aquatic Centre, which is at Melbourne High School on the corner of Chapel Street and Alexandra Avenue in South Yarra. Nice and central. Yep. Okay, Perfect. thanks so much. Lovely, thank you so much.